hello all in our previous lecture we have discussed about metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind so now you are very clear about the metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind or the metallic electrodes which are used in potentiometry for determination of concentration of the analyte which must be present in ionic state in the aqueous solution so uh, any analyte which is present in ionic state that may be a metallic solution into which the metallic indicator electrode of the first kind will be immersed and the potential of that solution uh, is measured and by using the Nernst equation we can determine the concentration of that particular ionic solution say for example in metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind where m is going to be the electrode which is immersed into mn plus solution where mn plus is the ionic solution of this particular metal and this electrode is responsible to determine the concentration of this ionic solution such electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind if you come to the metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind the same metallic indicator electrode of the first kind will respond to the concentration of another species where this another species will be in equilibrium with this particular Mn plus. So metallic indicator electrode of the first kind is used to determine the concentration of the another species which is in equilibrium with the ionic species of the metallic electrode. Such electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind. Say for example, uh, you have an example that if silver rod is dipped into silver nitrate solution or silver chloride solution then the silver electrode will be functioning as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind to determine the concentration of Ag plus. So that could be done by potentiometric method. So uh, the respect to Nernst equation, respect to Nernst equation will be written in this manner E is equal to E naught of Ag plus Ag couple minus 0 0.0516 into log of 1 over concentration of Ag plus. You know uh, from the electrochemical series uh, the inert value or the standard state reduction potential for Ag plus Ag couple will be plus 0 0.7996 volts and you can have the substitution into this particular equation to have this equation and this is holds good for metallic indicator electrode of the first kind. If you move on to uh, the metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind by using the same electrode which is used as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind, you assume silver electrode is used as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind. So if iodide is present in the aqueous solution of silver ion because into silver ion you have introduced silver electrode. So not only silver ion is present but iodide is also present, iodide is also present. So this iodide will be in equilibrium with the silver ion to produce silver iodide, silver iodide. This silver iodide will be present as a precipitate and this precipitate will dissociate slightly even though it is insoluble in aqueous solvent, it will dissociate slightly to produce ionic silver and iodide. We know from the law of mass action the equilibrium constant for this reaction can be called as KSP solubility product constant because here the insoluble residue silver iodide is going to uh, dissociate to get Ag plus and I minus therefore the equilibrium constant for this reaction is called as solubility product constant. So the equilibrium constant can be written as it is the ratio of the concentration of products to concentration of reactants. So therefore KSP will be having the equation is that KSP is equal to Ag plus concentration into I minus concentration divided by 1 where AgI is a solid it will be having an activity of unity therefore it will be considered as 1. If you further simplify that equation in order to get the concentration of Ag plus you will be getting the ratio of the solubility product constant or the equilibrium constant for this particular reaction over iodide concentration. So from this if you simplify the previous equation this final equation what we have obtained for the metallic indicator electrode of the first kind you can get the equation the Nernst equation for metallic indicator electrode of the second kind. 
So E is equal to plus 0 0.7996 minus 0 0.05916 into log of iodide concentration divided by solubility product constant of silver iodide. This is going to be the Nernst equation what we can have for metallic indicator electrode of the second kind that is silver electrode which can be used to determine the concentration of iodide. So if you further simplify, if you further simplify, you will be getting uh, this final equation because Ksp of AgI is going to be the constant and this is also a constant. So if you simplify this particular equation, you will get E is equal to plus 0 0.7996 minus 0 0.05916 into log of iodide concentration plus 0 0.05916 into log of Ksp of AgI. Log of Ksp of AgI, you will be getting a constant. So constant into 0 0.05916, so one more constant you will be getting. So that 0 0.05916 into log of Ksp of AgI and 0.7996 combined together to have a new constant that can be written as K minus 0 0.05916 into log of concentration of iodide is written in this manner. So the metallic indicator electrode of the first kind that is silver electrode is suitable not only to determine silver ion when it is present alone but also it is suitable to determine iodide ion if it is present in the aqueous solution. So these type of electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind. So assume systematically we can write the electrochemical cell uh, used in order to analyze the uh, solution containing iodide for its quantity. So if you consider any electrochemical cell, it will have reference electrode and the indicator electrode. Reference electrode may be saturated the calomel electrode or silver silver chloride electrode or platinum electrode, uh, uh, hydrogen electrode, whatever it is. So uh, the count, uh, the working electrode or the indicator electrode comprising of silver rod, which is dipped into the aqueous solution of the sample containing unknown quantity of iodide and some amount of silver iodide which is present in the aqueous solution, and we can say. The concentration of AgI is saturated because its solubility in water is very very low. So therefore, this is uh, the systematic representation of the electrochemical cell what we can use in the potentiometric analysis by using metallic indicator electrode of the second kind that is silver electrode to determine the concentration of iodide. So therefore, E cell is concerned to iodide concentration not concerned to silver ion concentration here. Therefore, the silver electrode which was used as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind can be used or it is applicable to determine the concentration of iodide. Therefore, this electrode is called as metallic indicator electrode of the second kind. So metallic indicator electrode of the second kinds are now better defined as they are metallic indicator electrodes of first kind but their response to the potential of another ion that is in equilibrium with Mn plus that is uh, if the aqueous solution of the sample containing chloride, bromide, iodide if you use silver electrode as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind silver will be in equilibrium with either chloride or bromide or iodide to produce silver chloride, silver iodide and silver bromide therefore silver electrode is suitable to determine the concentration of chloride, bromide and iodide so even calomel electrode can also be used, calomel means mercurous chloride, so that can be constructed by using mercury and mercurous chloride in the presence of saturated KCl solution. So mercury electrode is not only suitable to determine the concentration of mercury, but also it is suitable to determine the concentration of chloride because chloride will be in equilibrium with mercury. And even silver silver chloride electrode uh, which is the most commonly used reference electrode in most of the potentiometric method of analysis uh, silver silver chloride electrode not only function as a reference electrode but it can also be used as indicator electrode to determine the concentration of either chloride or bromide or iodide when it is uh, going to function or when it will serve the function of metallic indicator electrode of the second kind so another interesting example here is mercury electrode which can be which can be used not only for the determination of mercury 2. So if you take mercury chloride which is having unknown concentration, 
The concentration of mercury 2 can be easily determined by using this mercury electrode. So not only mercury 2 ion can be determined but also what is the concentration of EGTA present in the aqueous solution can also be determined by using this mercury electrode. So if you use mercury electrode to determine the concentration of mercury 2 that electrode will be acting like a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind. But if EDTA is present in your sample solution, not only EDTA, even citrate, tartrate you take, any other uh, ligand like species uh, if they are present in the aqueous sample solution and provided they have the tendency to form the complex with mercury, then this mercury electrode will function as a metallic indicator electrode of the second kind. When you immerse mercury electrode into the aqueous solution containing Hg2 plus and EDTA, the concentration of Hg2 plus EDTA complex will be measured by this mercury electrode. So in this case, mercury electrode is not going to directly uh, attribute to the concentration of Hg2 plus or uh, not only to the concentration of EDTA, but as a overall, it will respond to the concentration of Hg2 plus and the EDTA complex. Complex uh, formation reaction is on between Hg2 plus and EDTA. So, as the complex concentration is increased, EDTA concentration, free EDTA concentration is going to be decreased. Therefore, the potential is uh, going to have direct concern over uh, the response of the mercury electrode. Therefore, this mercury electrode is not only uh, function as a metallic indicator electrode of the first kind to determine mercury, but also it will function to act as a metallic indicator electrode of the second kind to determine EDTA concentration. So this is about metallic indicator electrode of the second kind. Let us move on to the redox electrodes so which are also called as metallic indicator electrodes of the third kind. Uh, these are very popular electrodes in most of the potentiometric titrations we will be using platinum electrode. Platinum is a inert metal which do not undergo either reduction or oxidation but it is a very important electrode to determine the concentration of uh, analyte present in the aqueous solution. So what does they means? What is the meaning of metallic indicator electrodes of the third kind or what are inert redox electrodes? These are also metallic electrodes which simply serve as source or sink for electrons. So whenever oxidation reaction is uh, uh, taken place, electrons are going to be released. Whenever the reduction reactions are taking place, addition of electrons can be seen. So electrons are captured from the oxidation reaction. In that case, this electrode will be acting as a sink. And if electrons are uh, needed to be added, then this electrode will be acting as a source to provide the electron to the reduction reaction. So even though this electrode is inert, its function is very very essential in measuring the concentration of analyte. So if you consider this electrochemical cell, systematically represented electrochemical cell, here platinum is used as a cathode and silver is used as an anode because this half of the electrochemical cell is uh, anodic and this half of the electrochemical cell is cathodic and this is reference electrode and this is indicator electrode or working electrode. Working electrode is nothing but the platinum electrode. Here platinum electrode is a inert redox electrode which is immersed into the solution of ferric chloride and ferrous chloride. The reference electrode is silver electrode which is immersed into the solution of hydrochloric acid which is saturated by silver chloride precipitate. You know the concentration of hydrochloric acid that is 0.1 molar. Silver chloride has reached its uh, saturation level therefore its concentration is written as saturated. So, you can determine here the concentration of ferric chloride or concentration of ferrous chloride by using this particular platinum electrode. But here, since this is going to be the cathode, the working electrode is going to be the cathode. Cathode means it is an electrode at which the reduction reaction going to be takes place. So iron 3 plus 1 electron gives rise to iron 2. So ferric chloride do not involve any chemical transformation while using this solution in the presence of platinum electrode. So ferric chloride is going to be the species to involve in the chemical reaction uh, thereby ferric chloride having iron 3 which accept one electron to get converted into ferrous chloride. So FeCl2 do not undergo any chemical reaction uh, but FeCl3 undergo reduction reaction to get converted into FeCl2. So therefore 
The concentration of FeCl3 can be determined by using this platinum electrode. A platinum electrode will act as a source for electrons. Source for electron. One electron is required to be added to iron 3 in order to convert this iron 3 to iron 2. Therefore, that one electron will be captured by this platinum electrode from this silver because this will undergo oxidation to release one electron with the consequent formation of silver ion. Uh, therefore, platinum will uh, capture one electron and it will supply that particular one electron to iron 3 in order to convert this iron 3 to iron 2. Therefore, platinum electrode is going to be very suitable uh, electrode to determine the concentration of iron 3 and even iron 2 concentration can be determined. So, these type of electrodes, these type of electrodes mainly platinum electrode are called as redox electrodes, inert redox electrodes. So, you might be uh, performing the potentiometric titration of iron 2 with cerium 4, potentiometric titration of iron 2 with potassium permanganate by using hydrogen peroxide, by using peroxide disulfate or, or all these oxidizing agents can be used to determine the concentration of reducing agents such as iron 2 by using potentiometric technique. So, while using uh, that technique, while using potentiometric technique, we will commonly employ platinum electrode as a redox electrode to perform the potentiometric titration uh, while saturated calomel electrode will be used as a reference electrode. So, platinum electrode will be used as a redox electrode which is functioning as a working electrode and the saturated calomel electrode will be functioning as a reference electrode. So, in the direct potentiometric titrations we will be using these electrodes, we will be using these electrodes and these electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the third kind. One disadvantage while using these redox electrodes is that if more than one reducible species present in the aqueous solution, the potential difference generated or the potential generated in the solution electrode interface is in response to all those species. Therefore, the rate of interference from more than one kind of the species if they are present in the aqueous solution will be more. The interference from the other species will be more if they are having the capability to undergo reduction process. So, whatever the potential you are going to record that will become erratic if more than one kind of a species, reducible species is present in the aqueous solution. These type of electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the third kind. So, Therefore, the metallic indicator electrodes are very very important in, in potentiometry to determine the concentration of metals or to determine the concentration of other uh, counter species which is having the capability to uh, involve in the equilibrium, equilibrium reaction with the metal or uh, the reduction reactions. If we have idea uh, in order to perform the potentiometric titration by using inert redox electrodes, this potentiometric titration will become very very important and useful technique. So, uh, let us recap metallic indicator electrodes of the first kind or the metallic electrodes uh, uh, which are used to determine the concentration of the same ionic metal, ionic species present in the aqueous sample solution. These electrodes are called as first kind electrodes. Metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind or they are the electrodes which are used to determine the concentration of the another species which is in equilibrium with the metal ion which is used to construct the metallic indicator electrode. So, these type of electrodes are called as metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind. The metallic indicator electrodes of the third kind are commonly called as redox electrodes where these electrodes will function as a source or a sink for electrons. So, they do not involve in either oxidation or reduction process but they uh, become responsible to supply the electron after capturing by an oxidation reaction to the reducible species. Therefore, the concentration of the reducible species or the oxidizable species can be calculated.